Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. I got asked a question earlier this week about uh, an army term, I'm going to call it. It's not necessarily an official army term, uh, but it's usually in reference to tanks. And uh, the, the question was, does that apply to battleships as well? So um, for those of us who grew up in the early 90s watching stuff about the first Gulf War, we're quite familiar with this term, but it seems like the war in Ukraine has brought this term back to the forefront again. The term is jack-in-the-box. And jack-in-the-boxing is when you shoot an enemy tank and the turret blows off. So is there an equivalent term for battleships? When the magazine detonates on a battleship, does it jack-in-the-box like a tank? Now this, uh, again, incredibly common with Russian tanks in particular. Uh, their magazines are directly below the turret area. They're, they're not separated the way most, most NATO nation tanks uh, separate their magazines. In fact, the American Abrams tank uh, has essentially a panel that acts as a blast door where if the magazine is hit, it will detonate outwards instead of inwards towards the crew compartment or up. But uh, Russian tanks, most famously the T-72, have their magazines sort of below the turret there where it's relatively easy to feed the rounds into the autoloader. Uh, and so if the tank is hit, the magazine detonates and the turret pops up like a jack-in-the-box. Now, battleships, very similarly, have their magazines directly below the turrets as well. But I'm not familiar with any examples of a battleship turret jack in the boxing. For one thing, a turret like Turret 3 here on New Jersey has something like five decks of penetration. So what you see, what you think of as the turret, is just the top of a five or six story rotating structure. Uh, and that's all one piece that's lowered into the, the hollow barbet more or less as one unit, not uh, like built level by level because the whole thing rotates together, which means a detonation has to blow that whole structure out together. There are certainly plenty of examples of magazines detonating on battleships. Um, some of the most famous ones happen at the Battle of Jutland on board British battle cruisers. In those instances, the detonation uh, tends to explode outwards, uh, which usually breaks the ship in half. So that is where the force is expended rather than pushing upwards. In occasions where the explosion does uh, vent upwards, I believe it was the battlecruiser Lion that survived a hit like that, uh, the explosion blows off the roof of the turret. Uh, the roofs of turrets are, are screwed into place. They are armor plate, but they're designed to be relatively easily removable so that uh, when you have to change out barrels and, and do maintenance inside the gun, you can just get one of those big gantry cranes to pull it off. And uh, because it is so removable, that's the path of least resistance during a detonation. So the detonation blew the roof off of Lion's turret, but it didn't jack in the box and send the whole turret up in the air. I think part of why this question was asked is because there's a really famous picture of Enterprise, which took a bomb hit uh, that blew one of her elevators into the air. And there's a, there's a really great high resolution picture where you can see the elevator, something like 20 stories above the ship at the top of this, this mushroom cloud, this big plume of smoke coming out of the ship. Uh, and perfect timing on that uh, picture that, that shows this detonation. Is there anything similar to battleships? And no, I, I think part of the issue is the shells are relatively inert. They, they tend to use composition D on American ships as a burster charge or plastic explosives that, that are relatively inert. So they're not going to just detonate outright uh, all at once like a powder magazine might. And likewise, the powder isn't actually stored in the turret. It's stored in a series of magazines around the turret. And so that detonation is not contained by the armored barbette, which might be strong enough to vent everything upwards uh, it is expanding outwards until it hits the hull of the ship. 
And so if it can defeat the armored belt, it just rips the ship in half instead of venting upwards. Uh, and so uh, my short answer to a short question is no. Uh, battleships do not jack in the box the way Russian tanks do. If you have any other questions like this that uh, you've never seen answered before, you can drop a comment down below. Or if you want me to see it more quickly, head over to the link below that leads to my Facebook page. And I'm much quicker at responding to things over there just because I get so many fewer comments than here on the YouTube videos. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. Really appreciate your support. And there's a link in the description below if you'd like to donate to support the museum. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about us and our channel. Thanks for watching.